Whoa. So many different colors of notices from USCIS. So little time. Do the colors matter? Do they mean anything? What's the deal? Is purple serious? Is pink seriouser? Is blue sad? Is yellow a happy notice? Do the colors mean like anything? Stick around and find out on the other side of the bump. Hey everybody, welcome to Law Great. My name is Damien DeNoble. This is the channel where I give you reliable information to help you make better decisions and avoid costly mistakes on your immigration journey. If you like this, go ahead and hit that notifications button, hit the subscribe button and share it. I'm trying to get more folks on so I can do live videos. If I get to 5,500 subscribers, I will start doing live videos every week where you can call in with questions, big and small. I promise it's gonna be awesome. So go ahead and share me. Anyhow, look, I've got all these kind of funky requests for evidence, deficiency notices, and then uh, rejections of filings, okay? What do they all mean? Are they all serious? Are, do the colors matter? So let's talk about it, okay? What I'm going to do is kind of take you through the various colors of uh-oh that you might get in your mailbox from USCIS, and we can talk about whether the uh-oh is a big deal, little deal, or no deal. Spoiler alert, there's never a no deal uh-oh, except if you're dealing with an I-693 notice, which we'll talk about, okay? So what do the colors mean? Well, one thing is that blue colors we exclusively see uh, on humanitarian visas, like U visas, T visas. Uh, we see these for 192s, we see them for I-918s, we see them for receipts on all the applications kind of in that category. However, I have seen these on rejection notices for applications that are filed and may be missing something. They might have a signature page that's missing, they might have um, actually a, a part of the form that's missing, and so it'll come back with a blue form with a check and with whatever has been sent in. However, I've also seen the blue form be a white form, okay? Um, what's the content of these? Sometimes the content of the blue form is very important. So it might tell you that you need to go ahead and get an FBI background fingerprint check. It could also just be, hey, we're rejecting this because XYZ documents are missing. So the blue form even though it won't say this is a request for evidence, it can sometimes contain a request for evidence in it, which brings me to this point. Even though the blue form uh, can sometimes be not very important, you have to read it as with all these forms and you can't just trust the color as being anything. That's gonna be a theme, okay? I have in my hand here a pink RFE and a white RFE. Both of these requests for evidence are nearly identical. Okay, and they're both for uh, I-485 adjustment of status applications. I can't tell the difference between these two colors. If you ask me what's the difference in these two colors, I couldn't actually tell you. So in this case, the pink one when I got it, yeah, like I was like, oh, that, that's, that seems important. The white one when I got it, yeah, I was like, oh, that looks like a regular thing, but it wasn't until I read both that I realized they were both equally important. The one thing I can tell you is that uh, often on the white, we'll get a notice to go ahead and send something in like a 693 um, report of medical examination, as in this one, to go ahead and complete an application that may be not getting an interview, okay? But they're both requests for evidence for the exact same form, um, and they're just different colors. So you wouldn't have been able to tell by looking at the envelope if you'd gotten a request for evidence or not. So open all envelopes. And again, here the color doesn't seem much to matter. Okay, let's go for something else that's um, something else to look at, okay? Oh, here. This is also a, re uh, a deficiency notice and a request for evidence for the 693 medical examination, okay? So three different colors all more or less asking for the same thing. You know, can't really trust the color, okay? All right, so then, oh, I got this one. During the Trump administration, I started getting purple ones. This is also an I-693 deficiency notice, identical to the yellow and white one we just saw. Again, color doesn't matter, okay? 
All right, and then this is a request for evidence on an I-130. Okay, this was the same case, actually. And we got a request for evidence on the accompanying I-485. So you could go, oh, well, that, that makes sense. So the 485 is on pink, and the I-130 request for evidence is on yellow. But the issue is, you know, I get I-130 request for evidence on white and red paper, and I get I-485 request for evidence on white and yellow paper as well. So it really, like, doesn't matter, okay? So, David, what the hell is the point of this video? Why did you just spend five minutes telling us it doesn't matter? The point of this video is when you get a communication from USCIS, um, the colors, right, sometimes indicate that, you, that, that it's really important. But sometimes if you get a white page like all your other communications from USCIS, it might be the same thing as, as, as is contained within the, the, the colored pages. So the stationery that USCIS uses, even though there might have been a system at one, one point in time, we just, uh, we can't really make heads and tails of it. And we just kind of make sure to open everything, read every line. And that's how we figure out how important is something that's been sent in. So I hope that helps. Um, there is a video on TikTok, which Santiago will put up here, right? That you should check out where it shows you what I sometimes wish I could do when I get a request for evidence in, just the sort of response I wish I could send in because some of them truly don't make sense. The colors don't make sense. The timing doesn't make sense. We get requests for evidence sometimes that are, you know, on identical cases where USCIS wants a lot in one case and not in another. And, you know, you just have to deal with it. The process is not static. It's a conversation with USCIS. And sometimes the questions they get asked aren't the smartest questions. Sometimes they are. So anyway, colors, if you're worried about them, don't be. I sure am not. If you like this, I'm glad you did. I'll see you next time.